What about him? I'm working. All right, you ready? You didn't know we were coming here tonight, did you? We are here getting ramen. Oh, this looks great. Thank you. Arigato gozaimasu. What? Arigato. Is it a good, like, focus? All right, because we're here. The ramen was great, dumplings were great, hot sake. The problem is we're not in Japan, we're in Denver. I'm just pretending um, we're gonna cut to Teddy in Japan. All right, well, we left Shibuya last night. I don't even know if I updated this camera since the morning. I had a bunch of like, uh, I had secret meeting stuff this morning. So we're meeting Seth in Shibuya now to get the vlog day started. Oh, cameraman, I don't know. Let's see if I can just find it. This is uh, where people line up to take a photo with the statue. The photo statue line. It's almost like they're here to meet Kai Somar at SneakerCon, but they're not. It's just a statue, which is similar to standing at SneakerCon. So, you know, no diss to Kai. It's just my own personal experience. These were full of cherry blossoms like two days ago. Oh shit. Yeah, they're gone. Like the first vlog that I was here, they're like blowing off the trees. I'm like, look at these flowers. And they're like blowing off. Now they're all basically gone. Day two with Seth Fowler. Starting my morning with a motherfucking crepe. I just noticed your hype shoes in the background. Oh, yeah? Your feet are gonna be killing you by the end of the day. No, ones are fine. Dude. What? Ones are fine for I'm what? Afraid. You're out of your mind. <laughs> <laughs> they might actually be more comfortable than the Yeezys, honestly. The Yeezys yesterday. You're crazy. Why, because there's ankle support? Yeah. Dude, you're crazy, bro. Yeah. You hate your feet. You're young. I'm gonna eat my crepe before I got that. Yeah, I'm comfortable. They're comfy as shit. No, they're great. Yeah, they're the most comfortable shoe ever made. In fact, <laughs> night jogger is not ever gonna pop, bro. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> I'm just over here talking about how the night jogger is never gonna do anything. No matter how many displays they make, they even have homegirl behind me holding the night jogger as you walk in because they so desperately want to try and sell that shit. They sent the night jogger to everyone that they could fucking possibly find. Look, Seth, so, but Seth, I like them. I do Seth, like them. Seth doesn't want to. Let me get him out of the background. <laughs> I said the night jogger to everybody, and it's a trash shoe. That's my official review without trying them on the Mesh and MD slash Aniki. But the Columbia store. I do. It's super nice. It's a nice little shell. It's so thin, too. Yeah, it's super thin. That's that spring joint. How much? 120. Not terrible. Not bad. Yeah. I just can't find anything like the color that... Actually, the last one is where I think it's up. This one's mad thin. This one's trying to drop yeah. 190. But then again, I was about to drop 440. So I might as well go. That's what it Yeah. Let's already have some 40s. 40s nuts. We're headed to the vape store because you guys know I love vape. My friend wants to see if they have the vape Barbie. So I'm coming to check to see if they have it for him. That's why we're down here. And we're going to show, show him Seth around some more. Get him the Tokyo experience. Shibuya. Shibuya. Shits are fire, son. <laughs> I fuck with those. Really? I mean, I fuck with the fact that this pump just tightens the upper. Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of <laughs> sick. Upper. And then they got that old Hexalite bubble. Do you remember Hexalite? No. Were you around for that? I know what it is. It came out with Reebok Pump, I think, for the first time. The original cushioning. It came out at the same time as Air. Oh, yeah? You know, so they're like trying to fight it with Hexalite. It's funny. We just uh, pulled up on a Reebok installation. A nostalgic Reebok installation. I think it's so sick. I know, right? If I design Reebok, that's pretty cool. They're gonna yell at me for this. I don't even care. We catch up with Seth Fowler in Tokyo, Japan on a shopping spree. What have you caught? What have you dropped? Pick it or stick sure. it. Flip or shit. <laughs> Flip it or shit in it. What do you want to do? If you had to wear these or shit in them, which would you prefer? <laughs> Seth's just like, oh, I'm just going to nervous. I'm just going to nervously laugh. Oh, cool. Oh, it's Japan only. Okay. That's what he's looking for. He's after, that is exactly what I'm looking he's after the exclusive. Yeah. Exclusive. Yeah, him. Good friends. BBC, NYC. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, that's cool. You gotta get it, sir. Yeah, no. Good design. Yeah, cool. I got the design, man. Oh, 
do have the mountain yellow though, which is a rarity. You don't see it too often. You don't see mountain yellow too often. <laughs> I'm assuming it's like Mountain Dew. I didn't try it. Don't you you gonna go for it? People, I think, were a little disappointed that I didn't try it. So we found a drink that Teddy hasn't tried. Mountain yellow. Yeah, I guess we'll just cop. I got you. Oh, you I got, got a bunch. Of, I got a bunch of change. I'm trying to. All right. I mean, my new wallet has a change pouch. I'm just saying, because it's the most practical wallet in the world. I had to cop the yellow carabiner to go with it. So if you go cop, don't expect it to come with the carabiner, son. It's all you. It's like my, yeah, this is my new shit right here. People are going to bite. Look, it's like the <laughs> chain wallet 20, it's chain wallet 2020 right here, bro. People don't even know. That one's all you, man. All right, now on yellow. We're on a yellow kick right now. Well, that is fucking yellow. <laughs> I didn't think it looked so different. Dude, that's yellow. I don't know. Taste yeah. it. Go oh, for it. Okay. Oh, my God. God, it's so yellow. Looks like someone peed in it there. It does, dude. Dehydrated piss. Yeah, it looks like a drunk dude's piss. Straight up. Cheers. I mean, I get. It tastes okay. Yeah, just like Mountain Dew. It kind of tastes more like Sprite. You can hit it off twice. No, no way. Uh, I was about to say. <laughs> Supreme, dog. Cashing out of Supreme Tokyo with <laughs> Seth Fallon. <Fowler. laughs> uh, Seth is learning that walking around Tokyo, you basically just find shit to buy you know what's non-stop. That's yeah. true. I have the best walking shoes, honestly. Like, <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Stop trying. Stop trying to guess this shit. Whatever. Now you're gonna make me make you walk 15 miles a day to prove that shit. So what are you getting paid? You trying to get a paid ad on my vlog from Jordan Brand? Oh, uh, Jordan Brand, cut me the first check. I don't piss everybody off. You know what I'm saying? Let's work. Let's grind. Let's do it. Do a jump man taking a dab. Grab soup, dumpling, snacks. You're, bu you're bougie, Seth. Bougie. Let's, let's admit it, all right? You know what? Honestly, it's bad and bougie. When I think Seth Fowler, I generally think bad, bad, bad and bougie. <laughs> <laughs> you like you H should have a rebrand, you know? You should come out as a bad boy. <laughs> and no one believe that. <laughs> Seth is losing his mind at the sushi place. Order. You just got one piece? I was it just one piece. Is that what you ordered? I ordered the seasonal special, which is five. One. Oh, it was like a recommended menu yeah. thing? Oh, uh, weird. I went with the seasonal menu. He has no idea what the shit is. It's pro, dude. That on the, oh yeah, I don't know what any of it is, actually. I mean, it's that's tuna. On tuna. The, well, yeah, but on the plate here, the left side is tuna. I think you should just go for this one first, get it out of the There's way. There's shrimp, guys. You're out of your mind. Hey, yo, I'm, I'm getting you. I have no problem with you being fearless. <laughs> None at all. Doesn't mean that I don't think you're crazy. <laughs> you're going for it. Mm, so good. <laughs> no, I was like, Z. Yeah, it's just shrimp. It's just shrimp, bro. It's, shrimp. it's probably going to change your life for the better. <laughs> review, review it like a sneaker dog. The medial side is a little, a little textured. <laughs> so I dislike it. <laughs> What you get for going to the robot restaurant, motherfucker? <laughs> I don't like it. Huh? I'm just overthinking. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what are you thinking about? Like what the shrimps' names were? Their family? Like, we're out looking for their brothers and sisters right now, but they're in your belly. They're like stuck in between like people. Tuna roll. Looking pickled shits on tuna belly with the pickles. I hate that you're right about fucking. Did you? <laughs> Wait, what? I need that other part. You hate that I'm right about everything. Yeah, I love it. I know. A lot of people do hate it. My girlfriend earned my parents. 70% of people in the world who know my name. But can we talk about what you said before the camera was on about how you've never felt anything like this in your life? Like in Tokyo, <laughs> feeling in the stomach is <laughs> so I've never experienced anything. Good thing the toilets here are crazy. <laughs> yeah, good thing they blow water straight <laughs> up your how, did, how do you get that to happen? Stop? I was going to say, how do you get it to stop? <laughs> uh, you just got to hit the right button, man. It's funny because I was actually I was mm -hmm. expecting it, so I was like, yeah. Oh, it didn't. Oh, it won't auto do it or anything. Yeah, yeah it doesn't like unsolicitedly <laughs> spray anything up your butt, man. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just waiting to see what you're, in case you collapse from your shrimp roll. No, right, dude, I need some like regular sushi for a second. Hey, this tuna roll. I'm, I got I ordered some. We're leaving, Seth. Where are you going? Uh, no, but you're going to the Philippines. Philippines. Yeah, yeah. Philippines. He's a sneaker celebrity, so he's being flown. He's being he's being flown to be a sneaker celeb. I'm a former sneaker celebrity. <laughs> I'm the artist formerly known as a sneaker celebrity. I got recognized in the street today, though. That's cool. Good. Twice, maybe. Actually, yeah. we got recognized by a group of people. One person only knew me, one person only knew me. It's true. Me. And then the guy took a selfie of me in the street, but he was from Denver, which is really ridiculous. I literally never get recognized in Denver. <laughs> it's like in Tokyo, though. It was in the middle of a crosswalk, yeah, too. Yeah, right middle of a crosswalk. crosswalk. 
All right, we're back to the crib. Probably closer to seven o'clock than it is anything. Ah, oh, that's a little longer. Yep, 6.54. I copped strawberries, Japanese strawberries, just hit different. And uh, I got a little sake. Call it a night there and get this vlog started. So I got like three days worth of footage to edit. Long day, big day, only so many more days left. A lot of work to do. I have a lot of work to do now. All right, I'm out. <clears throat> All right, so uh, yesterday checked in, eating Japanese food. Now here I am in my house. Pretty boring, Teddy's in Japan, probably having a blast, trying to see what exciting things are going on here. Nothing, just practice vlogging right now, you know, getting the angles ready and getting ready for that vlog life. I really need to get an arm on this thing though because my hand's kind of shaky. All right, we'll check in in a bit. Back on the vlog. Done really too much today vlogging, so I'm bringing it into our kitchen where you can see we are gonna cook chicken marsala. Hang on a second. Chicken marsala experience. This is she talking. Yeah. <laughs> oh, good, because it's chicken. <laughs> All right, outside Superior, headed in to get the rest of the stuff to ship. It's a full day of shipping today. I'm vlogging from here while nice. Teddy's in Japan. Love it. Let's go check out what we got there. Uh, anyway. Dude, the gray looked fine on everything, I think. Yeah, it worked out way better. Looks came up pretty sick. Stuff is here. Not much going on in Denver here. I tried to vlog, I don't know, just uh, not too much. So, let yes, it's Fortnite in the background. Let me move out of here as not to embarrass myself. I'm just gonna pretend that I'm in Japan for these next two weeks. I'm just gonna keep eating Japanese food. Although it's not the same, I get to say arigato gozaimasu. All right, well, I guess we are going to the Chubby Cattle, which has a rotating sushi belt as well. I'm going for the whole Japanese deal here. It's pretty obvious, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Teddy was saying the freshness of a landlocked sushi place with a rotator belt. Sounds a little shaky. We're gonna go investigate and find out. Check in with you guys in a bit. What are you doing? I'm just vlogging. Naked? Well, they don't know that. Oh, there's a spot on the lens, damn. Looks like I fixed it. We're ready for the chubby cattle? Well, Teddy and I passed it all the time and he would, he would say, he doesn't like the sign or the design. There was something he didn't like about it. He also made fun of it saying to eat landlocked sushi on a rotator belt is a little scary. This was weeks ago, but we're gonna give it a try and we're gonna find out how scary it really is. They also have ramen, right? And hot pots. Oh, what's a hot pot? I think, do you see what I think? I think cold food. Yeah, you're just dipping fucking meat in sauce, you know? No, 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 we're gonna do this live. We don't need a video, this is cold. All right, we're out. The chubby cattle. Brandy didn't tell us before is it's also make your own ramen. So I might make my own ramen hot pot and... $32 per person, all you can eat. I'm ready to crush. I'm vlogging. Can I put you in the vlog? Ice, welcome to the vlog. Hi. <laughs> Thank you. You get all of the proteins with the ramen option. It's just Wagyu. That's one order per person. What is this? There's a button? Please do not order more than you can eat. Create your own ramen. All you can eat is Are you making my bowl? No. Oh. Yeah, I'm not going to use any of that. Lobster balls. Oh, lobster balls, brand. Got some wasabi. Oh, you're in the oh. wrong seat, baby. Oh, I'm in the wrong seat. Wait, it's over here. I'm sorry. I, I got confused. Oops. All right. Wrong seat. Okay. Oh, this is great. Saw? Yeah. Look at that. Wait. How do you get your noodles? They're going to bring it all. It stays warm here, and then you probably put it in this bowl. Since you both got ramen noodles, go ahead and divide them, because they're most likely coming on the same. Okay. From there, once your toppings are soft, you're going to turn these down to a one. Okay. They start off at the side, directly below the P is the down arrow. So we're going to put in the toppings when we get them? Toppings, go ahead and put those in. You have your oh. noodles and your Wagyu coming out right now. Oh, like these toppings? Yeah, those are your toppings. Oh, the yeah, look at this. Oh, wow. Thank you. Once you see that your toppings have come to a boil and start looking soft, you can go ahead and turn it down to that one. And then we'll put in these meats. Then you can dip in the meat. Once you have everything added, you can portion it out into these side bowls to help you eat it more reasonably rather than having 
this yeah. giant pop. Okay? This sounds great. This does not sound great at all, Ern. This sounds fucking ridiculous. I cannot believe that you did not just get up and walk out of this restaurant yet. Did you turn your heater down? No. Turn it down. Before. You don't want to overcook these things. These all cook very quick. Can you please turn your heat down, Bran? Too much going on right now. Ramen. Yours is still boiling. Bo nobody boils. Here. Good. There, the noodles said. should be down more, right? You no. can, yeah, you can let it put it out. These motherfuckers just charged you $32 to watch you not be able to cook your own food. $64. It'll be fine. Okay. Because once it starts to, it, the yeah. noodles, they're going to. Right, what are you supposed to do now? No, that's not what she said. I don't. Yeah, I need to take it out next. Twist. No, you're supposed to twist it. Get it in there. You're horrible. Meatballs. Yep, Italian style, cooking meatballs. I gotta get the rest of that pork out before it's too late. That's done. We've got another order coming. This is two orders. The burning your ass roll. Maybe not the most traditional. So I was a little confused with that. I thought only the rolls on the thing we can get, but you can order any of the specialty rolls. They're included too. Whoa. My mouth is burning right now. Okay. Hold on. I need you to focus on me for the burn your ass roll. Not traditional Japanese at all. Very interesting. Great service. Really nice people. A fun time. Definitely a fun time. If you're looking to get like traditional Japanese, maybe not the spot, but if you're looking for a fun time with friends, want to do something different, it's pretty damn good, pretty damn cheap, and we had a blast doing it. So I guess that's my summary. I'll see you guys later. Call Dirty Urn on speaker. Calling Dirty Urn on speaker. Are you fucking serious? What? First off, this food looks disgusting. You guys don't have any idea what the fuck you're doing. It's a complete clusterfuck of bullshit. Sad that you're like, whoa, whoa, whatever. Then you walk outside and give it a rave review and say that it was amazing. I have texts in my phone from you saying that this shit is disgusting from you and Brandy. You and Brandy both. Brandy hit me up thinking she had food poisoning the next day. And your review is you walk out and you say, it's a great time for friends and it's cheap. That shit costs you $64 to cook and you don't even know how to cook. What the fuck? What kind of review is this? I don't know, dude. I don't know what I was doing. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? Dude, that food, that food looked disgusting. That wasn't gyoza. That was not, that was... Okay, I just needed to get the full actual review. I know, I know you wanted to, I know you wanted to keep the dream sequence going with all your fucking booty ass color correcting, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go eat some real ramen for you today. Okay. All right. Have have a good, have a good night. Bye.